Hello, Matt Seuss here, and today I'm going to show you how you can easily find your photo textures and background photos on your computer using On One's Perfect Photo Suite 8.5. So here I am in Perfect Photo Suite 8, and it normally opens up in the browse mode here. And the traditional way of finding your folders on the computer is using the sources panel here. Uh, my, my files are stored on an external hard drive on a RAID system. So if I double click on the RAID, I can double click into the folder that I wanted to open up and take a look at. And I want to take a look at SUS Cloud Set 2. This is a collection of cloud background photos that are available on my website, blog.mattsus.com. Okay, so here I am looking at all these photos. From here I can then easily bring these into different modules inside Perfect Photo Suite like layers or effects. Uh, if I wanted to, I can, to the right of sources, I can click on the plus button and I can add that to my uh, favorites so that next time I go in there, all I have to do is just, instead of navigating through that whole chain, I can just click right on that uh, folder that I saved there. But an even easier way to manage all of these textures and backgrounds and one that I prefer is to go up under file and then manage extras. This is going to open up a new dialog box here and we can see we have different categories. We have backgrounds, borders, textures. Uh, the two categories that we're going to pay attention to in this video are the backgrounds and the textures. Now by using this extras manager, what this is going to do is when I import my photos, this is going to import it and save it into On One's Perfect Photo Suite. So I won't have to go and um, navigate through folders anymore. They'll all automatically be inside the program. If I don't have my external hard drive attached, that's not an issue because it stores it on my computer's hard drive. So first what I'm going to want to do is import that cloud set 2 into the backgrounds. Now the if you're purchasing the photo textures from me on my website, I have two categories. I have backgrounds and I have textures. Uh, this one here, we're going to import the SUSE cloud set 2. You can see that I already have cloud set 1 imported. So I'm going to click on the backgrounds. I'm going to click on import. And I'm going to navigate onto my computer where I have that folder set. I'm going to then click on one of the photos and then scroll down to the last fo fo photo. While holding the shift key, I will then click on that last photo. That will select all of them. So now I have all 25 photos selected. I'm going to click on open. It's going to want me to choose a category now. And what I want to do is add a new category. And as soon as I do that, it's going to populate that field with the folder name automatically for me. I can now go ahead and rename this if I want to, but I'm going to leave it as is. So I'm going to hit OK and hit OK. And what this is doing now is it is importing those photos. It's copying them from my external hard drive and storing them onto my computer. And I'll show you where that stores that in just a moment. OK, it gives me a message that there were no errors. And what I want to do now is import some textures too. So I'll click on the textures and click on import. And on this one here, I'm going to import the rust and patina set one. So I'll select that. I'll select one of the photos. Scroll down while holding the shift. I'll click on the last one so that I have all 25 selected. Hit open. Change the category. And again, it automatically populates it with that folder name. I'll hit OK and hit OK again. And again, this is now copying my textures from my hard drive into On One. Now, the borders are going to be, we're going to be able to find those in a couple different locations. And uh, the textures are going to be able to find in one extra location. And I'll go through that in just a moment here. Okay, no errors. I will close out my Extras Manager. And let me just pick a sample photo here. And we'll just use one of the uh, photos that came with on one. And we'll go into layers. Now in layers we have a mini browser on the left hand side. To find those backgrounds and textures that I just imported, I will go into the users extras 
if I open up the backgrounds, here are my two cloud sets right there. I can just click and drag those into the photo. If I wanted to add a texture, drop down the textures menu. And here's the rust and patina collection that I just put in there. I could then just click and drag those onto a layer in layers. And I will go through in another video exactly that process of dragging the uh, dragging the uh, texture onto the photo and creating a whole new uh, texture blend photo. Uh, but for the purpose of this video here, this is really just to show you where to get your files and textures and where you can find them. Um, the backgrounds, like I said, are found in layers and also the textures, and of course you can find them in the browse. If we go into effects, we will be able to, there's another location that we can then in effects find our textures. So I just opened up effects, and what I'm going to do is scroll down and under filter options, under filter, I'm going to go to texturizer. Scroll this panel down here. Now the category, I'm going to click on the category, and then I'm going to scroll down here. All your user categories, the categories that you add are towards the bottom. And I can find here is the Seuss Rust Patina set that I had just added. So I can click on that, and here are all the different textures that I can then add to the photo. And again, this is just to show you a sampling of where you can find the uh, where you can find the textures. I'll go through in another video how to actually use these and blend them. But that wraps up this video right here uh, on one Perfect Photo Suite 8. Gives you a couple different options to uh, to um, access your photos and textures. Uh, before I do leave, though, I wanted to show you where you can find these photos, these textures on your computer. If we look here, I'm on a Mac, and if I go into my user folder under Library, Application Support, On One Software, Extras, and then in the Extras, we'll find all of the backgrounds and textures that you imported. So under Backgrounds, here's my SUSE Cloud Set 1, Cloud Set 2, and the textures, here are some of the uh, textures that I have just imported. And we can see that they're all saved right on the computer. All right, that wraps up this video, and uh, keep an eye out for more videos in the future on how to use these textures and create some fantastic tender texture blend photography. I'll see you soon. Thanks.